Hey there, it is Mike Allen with another Behind the Mic here with Reese, a PBR writer, which is going on this weekend at Sleep Train Arena. How are you doing, Sid? Good, good. Yeah. Welcome to Sacramento. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. You made it. This town. You made it just in time for the rain. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> what I was thinking yesterday. I saw uh, people having some problems on the road, and mm -hmm. so, but uh, yeah, apparently you guys have been in drought, huh? Yeah, 50 days without rain. Cool. I, it's wow. really sad. Like our lake. Yeah, you got some. Yeah, we, our lake, the Folsom Lake is a big lake here. Well, it used to be a big lake. Now you can see the town that they flooded out. Really? You can actually go back and explore it. Wow. So if you need some downtime, if you have some downtime, maybe you can do that. Nice. <laughs> they keep me pretty busy, so. Oh, I'm sure. Care. So, uh, what's it like being a PBR writer? Because, I mean, I've ridden the Mechanical Bull, and I would assume a real bull slightly different, a little bit more exciting, maybe. Well, uh, you, uh, for me, it's living a dream. For some people, it's crazy. I, you know, um, we're gone in a different town every week, and and uh, as far as the riding goes, uh, that's probably the, the least stressful part of it for us. Um, I mean, just simply because uh, out of the thousands of bulls that we've been on and we've <laughs> rode, um, it's kind of like a routine. We just get into it. and and uh, try to have things go as great as possible, but uh, it's it's uh, living a dream for me, man. I love it. That's quite a routine. Routine to just get on a bowl and just ride her. <laughs> <laughs> My routine is to get a cup of coffee in the morning when I get to yeah. work. <laughs> so, what, like, what's going through your head when, like, you jumped on the bowl and now you have the eight seconds? Like, what what are you doing? Like, are you just, like, one one thousand? Too. Like how are you? Like what's going through your head? Well, sometimes, uh, sometimes it goes so fast you don't even realize it because you're having fun, and other times uh, you can't get there quick enough. It just kind of all depends on how good of a boy you have. So, uh, if you have a really good one, one that you that you kind of get along with, it, it doesn't seem like it takes very long at all. Okay. So getting so a good bull is, I, I don't know. How would you describe a good bull? Because. I would think a good bull would be gentle. I don't know. Like, uh, well, a, a good bull has a high riding percentage, which means um, a lot of guys kind of get along with him, okay. and um, you know, he's he's good for a decent score, and uh, you know, but and a bad one is one who bucks a lot of guys off. You know, who's really hard to get by. You kind of dread getting on those, but. Uh, those are the ones that make you a little bit more famous. Are the ones you ride that nobody else can. So, okay, what's one of the bulls that one of the bad bulls that you that you everyone talks about? It's like, oh man, this bull is crazy. Well, the best bull uh, in the world, probably, possibly ever, uh, arguably, is uh, Bushwhacker, and he's actually going to be here this weekend at the event. Uh, Do you get to ride him? Uh, well, he he's actually got the weekend off. Um, oh, okay. He was uh, he was bucked in Oklahoma City last weekend, and he will be bucked in Anaheim next weekend. But uh, he's here just uh, doing some modeling and um, checking out the cows and <laughs> and uh, so maybe even signing autographs. I don't know. But no, he's uh, he's here. He'll he'll be on show for everybody to come check out. So that's exciting. So uh, we talked about what you're thinking about when you're on the bull. What do you do to get ready before you're like, okay, I'm gonna jump on this giant monster with horns that wants to kick me off? Like, what's going through your head? Well, uh, as being a bull rider. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I consider myself, and well, we all consider ourselves professional athletes. So, um, you know, during the week we spend a lot of time in the gym. Uh, everybody kind of has a different routine that they go through to get ready, but uh, definitely some stretching, some time with the trainers, and uh, get warmed up and, and ready to go, and try to clear your mind as best possible. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to PBR this weekend. You know, it's like me and my girlfriend. What what should we be most excited to look forward to? I mean, uh, we're walking in, I got my beer. I mean, obviously she's excited that you guys are wearing tight jeans. But I mean, outside of, outside of that, well, I think that um, I can't I can't tell you, man, because for me, uh, my favorite part is actually just uh, being there and competing. Mm -hmm. For everybody, it's something different. Every time somebody comes to their first event, they always have something that they like the best. And there's something for every age group. It's a it's a family event, uh, but it's the most dangerous sport in the world. You, you get to watch the, the best bull riders in the mm -hmm. world go up against the very best bulls in the world. And uh, so it, it'll be exciting. And if you have your beer in your hand, it'll only make it that much better. So <laughs> you'll you'll enjoy it. Beer makes everything better. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly. awesome. And you guys do have clowns, right? Well, we, they, they're considered bull, if, you, if they were here and they heard you call them clowns, oh, they might oh, kind shoot. of I'm sorry. A bit. But they are bullfighters. Um, it's, they they're the very best in the world also and you know they put their lives on the line to protect us mm -hmm. and uh, there is a clown um, his see, name is see. Clint yes. and uh, he'll keep you laughing all night long so um, you know kind of give you a little comedy relief throughout the event so uh, like I said man there's something for everybody and, and, and I really think I really think you'll enjoy it yeah and he's not a scary clown so no. you can be scared of him no really not nice. scary at all I mean if no. Reese likes him then we can like him yeah definitely <laughs> That's awesome. It is uh, PBR. It's going on this weekend at Sleep Train Arena. Like you said, family event. 
Uh, you can get your tickets now. Find out more information at 1019thewolf.com. It's another Behind the Mic.